Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fifth grade concept of decimal division with models. This is standard 5.3F in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 11 of the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. Got four different models here. We're simply looking for six tenths divided by two equals 30 hundredths. Now, it might look a little bit strange, but take a look at what we've got here. I can put my place value chart right here, right? This is my ones place. This is my tenths place. The third place over is going to be my hundredths. The THS is important for the tenths and hundredths. So here's my six tenths. But remember, you can always add zeros after a decimal. It's no big deal. So six tenths is the same as 60 hundredths. And that makes a lot more sense, right? 60 hundredths divided by two is going to make 30 hundredths. Okay, that makes sense. 30 and 30 makes 60. So we just need to find the model that best represents this. So uh, let's take a look at A. Here's the problem. A has got how many hundredths here? Looks like I've got 12 hundredths, right? So that's a 10 and that's a 2. Uh, so you put those together, you got 12 hundredths. Looks like... Yeah, it's it's a little bit, the shapes aren't the same, but if you count the number of squares, you are cutting it in half. Because look what you get. You get six hundredths in each. Now, these are hundredths, right? If I were to do this 0 0.6, that would be six tenths, which is going to be six of those bars. So A is this right here. 12 hundredths divided by 2 equals six hundredths. So besides the fact that it's divided by two, it's just not there. Now take a look at what B did. B, let's see, he's got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. All right, so we've got 60 hundredths. But look at how they've got this other row right here. These are, it's a 10 by 10, so that's 10, that's 20. They're actually showing you what decimal multiplication looks like, which is something else we're learning, right, in fifth grade. So if you take 60 hundredths, you multiply that by 20 hundredths, you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's actually a very good model of 12 hundredths. And you see because 6 times 2 makes 12, right? And then you've got, other than zero, you got one, two digits behind the decimal, so you need two digits behind the decimal in your product. So that's a great representation of 60 hundredths times 20 hundredths equals 12 hundredths, but that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for, we're looking for six tenths divided by two. All right, so let's look at C here. So I've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, there's my 60. All right, so I've got 60 hundredths. But remember, we did find that 6 tenths is the same as 60 hundredths. So if you look at each of these as a bar, as tenths, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So let me just go ahead and put this as 6 tenths just to kind of help us here. Let's see. Did we cut this in half? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, we cut this in half. So let's see, six tenths cut in half equals how many hundreds do we have? Well, I've got uh, six by five, right? Six by five on each of these, and that's going to be 30. You see, the problem here is this is uh, 60 hundredths and 60 hundredths. This is 1 and 20 hundredths divided by 2 equals 60 hundredths. So my answer is C.